hi guys you are watching quality center and this video is going to be very important because in this video i will let you know that how you can optimize your windows 11 without using any third party software so there are many services in windows operating system and some of them are useless so we if we are not using them so it is highly recommended that we have to of these services in order to remove the load on our cpu so let's start so first of all we have to go into the start menu then we have to type update check for the update once you go into the update section then you have to click onto the advanced option then you have to click on the, the onto the delivery option then allow downloads from other devices so you have to if you have if, if it is your requirement and if you have many devices on your network and you have to keep this up then you can keep this option on but obviously in normal cases in 90 percent cases nobody need it so it create it consumes your extra bandwidth and put the load on your cpu extra load so so it is recommended you have to keep this option off once you off it then you have to go into the services then you have to look for the windows mobile hotspot windows mobile hotspot so windows mobile hotspot so if you are sharing internet from your laptop to other devices then in that case this service should be on but in 90 or 95 percent cases nobody shares internet from their laptop so it puts the extra load onto the cpu and onto the ethernet card as well so we have to just we have to right click on it go into the properties then we have to disable it and make sure here should be stopped then we have to apply then okay now we have another services service that is connected to user experience this service this service sends the uh, uh, sends the uh, send the performance report of your windows to the microsoft so that microsoft can improve their windows in the upcoming version so if you are really uh, uh really concerned about your privacy and you don't want to share anything regarding anything or with anyone so you have to keep this option off because it is continuously running and it consumes your cpu and ram as well so we have to right click on it stop it then we have to right click on it go into the properties and then disable it now we have windows error reporting windows error this one so in case if your windows getting error or if you are getting any type of error inside the windows it will send to the microsoft so that microsoft can improve their product so if you don't want to share your Mac, uh, your windows report with your with the microsoft so and if you are really concerned about your privacy you, you don't want to share anything uh, with anyone so you have to keep this option off go into the properties then disable it apply it okay now we have another service that is program compatibility program compatibility let me find out it mm -hmm. program program Pro program compatibility assistant so let's say the function of this service is very simple that if you want to run on a very old software that is that is uh, that that is associated with the windows xp or windows 7 and you want to run that software onto the uh, windows 11 so this service supports you in order to run the application but in 90 percent 95 percent cases in the modern world we don't use very old application because of the security risk and because of the vulnerabilities so uh, in 90 95 percent cases we have to keep this service off because we don't need it it will put the extra load onto the cpu we will right click on it stop it once you stop it then you have to right click on it then properties then you have to click on to the disable apply 
okay now the next service is sysmail so this service this service should be off because in in the older computers mostly we used hard drive obviously we in that time we don't have the ssg or m2 devices so in 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 the modern computers most of the 80% 90% people are using ssg or m2 basically sysmain sysmain in the, when in the older computers we were using the hard drive so sysmain plays a role in order to give little boost to the application so that it can be loaded onto the onto the hard drive very quick but in in modern world we have ssg and m2 so we don't need this service because this service and react with the speed of the ssd and m2 and result is that you will get higher disk consumption you will get higher extra load onto the desk and you will see that your disk per percentage will be high so it is strongly recommended that if you are using ssd or m2 then this service should be off and it will remove the extra burden over the ssd because it has different algorithm and, uh, and ssd is a solid state device it works differently so because this is totally a mismatch so we have to keep this option off if you are using ssd or m2 so we have to right click on it first of all we have to stop it then we have to disable it permanently once you disable it then go into this start menu last thing services you have to type sorry msc you will get an option of uh, system configuration you have to type on the system configuration once you have a system configuration then you have to click on the services then you have to check mark the microsoft services so hide all microsoft services then you will have only third party services so you can see that these are the third party services that are being used at my laptop so so it is basically requirement based so if you are using any third party software and uh, you want to keep running on your computer so you you so no need to uncheck it but obviously uh, many of many third party softwares are mostly mostly being used onto the computer and they are working onto the uh, background and it consumes your a lot of processor a lot of disk and a, lo a lot of ram so it hurts your performance so i request you to analyze these option by yourself if you don't use anything you have to uncheck it let's say in my case redmi vpn i'm not using this i i didn't use since long so i'm going to uncheck it so it will remove from the uh, background service and it will reduce the load onto the cpu so finally you have apply and then okay then you will have a option of restart if you don't have if you if you are not getting the option of restart then you have to restart it manually and after the restart you will see that your performance will be improved guarantee thank you so much for watching this video like subscribe hit the bell icon forward to your family and friends stay safe bye bye